Jesus is teaching in the temple courts and he wants to get the people thinking about who he really is. Let's listen in. While Jesus was teaching in the temple courts, he asked, why do the teachers of the law say that the Messiah is the son of David? David himself, speaking by the Holy Spirit, declared, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. How then can he be his son? The large crowd listened to him with delight. For us contemporary Westerners, it's a little difficult to work out what Jesus is saying here. We have to get inside the heads of Jesus' hearers, as it were, to better understand. The Jewish people believed that the coming Messiah would be the son of David. That's what the Bible said. He was called the son of David because he would sit on David's throne and deliver his people, and in him would be fulfilled all the promises that God had made to King David. Jesus quotes Psalm 110, which was understood as David writing about a dialogue between God and his Messiah. In this passage, the Lord, that is God, calls the Messiah Lord, so that both God and the Messiah share the same title. Jesus asked the people, why does that happen? Jesus wants to expand the people's thinking about his identity. They think he is a Messiah, but they think that the Messiah is just a man. But Jesus wants to lead them to understand why it is that the Messiah shares the same title as God. When Jesus asks, David himself calls him Lord, how then can he be his son? It's a rhetorical question. The obvious answer is because the Messiah is not a mere man. He is the divine Son, the Lord God himself. Jesus was trying to lead the people to understand who he was. One of the most common questions in the Gospels is, who is this man? Our salvation depends on our answer to this question. How would you answer the question? Jesus isn't looking for an intellectual answer, but an experiential one, because you know him for yourself. <laughs>